Welcome to the online video series presented by Structure Studios. This video will explain the home screen and Stage 1 project information. We open the program by double left clicking on the icon located on our desktop. The software will open to the home screen. Here we find several options. On the left navigation panel we can start a new file, open an existing file, or view our media. Towards the bottom you can access your member account, the Help Center, and popular websites. On the Recent tab, you'll see your previous projects in chronological order. Click on the project thumbnail to open the project. Click the star in the bottom right corner of the preview to add the project to your Favorites list. Click the Favorites tab to see your favorites. These can be projects you plan to open frequently or to show your clients a portfolio list. To remove a project from Favorites, click the star again. On the right side of the Recent or Favorites view, you can toggle between Thumbnail Preview and List View. The software will remember all of your preferences. The Open button gives us the choice of which project to load, and the New button will create a new project. You also have the option to open or start a new project from the Application button in the top left corner. We'll click the New button to begin. The New Project Information screen is where we fill out the details for our project. The software creates a project folder for each design. This folder contains your save file, images, video, and other content. The project name will be the name of your file. We can also fill in the client name, email, and phone. If entered, this information will help personalize your final presentation and construction plans. We can also fill in the client's address. If populated, this will save us time downloading GIS data in the next step. And in VIP 3D, we'll automatically set the address to use with True Shadows. Let's name our project Basic Training in the Project Name field. Next, click Start Project to create the file. When you start a new project or open an existing design, the software will start in Stage 1, Project Information. On the right, in the panel, we have the tools and options available in this stage. The first option is to load a GIS image. This allows you to import high-resolution aerial imagery along with surveyed terrain data of your client's property. Type in the property address and aerial images will be inserted directly into your project. This allows you to trace existing structures and calculate access. The next option is to import a background image. You can import up to four background images per project. The File Explorer will pop up, offering you the option to select the image saved to your computer and insert it. You can also import an AutoCAD file, add a 3D image, and for VIP 3D members, import a design from Yard. These features will be covered in other videos. Next, you'll see the Property Line and Orientation options. First, we'll select the Draw Property Line option. Simply plot the dimensions of the property line and we'll see the measurement as well as the bearing. You can also type in your property line's precise distance and bearing. Once you draw a property line, you'll have the option to flip the direction of the north-south or east-west sides. By default, the compass will designate the top of the screen as north. To adjust the project's orientation, simply click and drag the compass to adjust the orientation. Use the up and down arrows to adjust, or type in a value such as 90. Changing the orientation will update our property line bearing and affect the location of the sun for VIP 3D users with True Shadows active, and the orientation of the compass object added to page layout. Next, you can set your environment for the current project. The environments will change the background of the design in 3D. Choose the one that best matches your area. When you finish working in this stage, press the Next Stage button to move to Stage 2, House. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit StructureStudios.com/help.